Hello everyone, Mike127 here, welcome back to Let's Play Breath of the Wild. I am somewhere north of Hatino Village, at least I hope I am, because I want to be heading towards um, the Zora homeland, and looks like I'm pretty much on course, I'm heading up this way. Uh, you can see there's the uh, the marker for my uh, my main quest that's on there reached Zora's domain, so that's pretty much my next objective for the main quest. Um, now, on my way up here, I um, got a reading from my shrine sensor right towards the end of the last episode, so I'm going to see if I can get to the bottom of that, or to the top of it. Feels like going down this way is what I want to do. Ooh, it's going to be down here. <laughs> hmm. It's gonna be down here. I wouldn't say in the. I guess you gotta jump down the waterfall. Looks like there's some structure down here. It's not just regular cliffs. Yeah, I think I have an idea where this is leading me. Might even be behind the waterfall. That's what I'm starting to think. I know there's at least one shrine that's behind a waterfall. But this may not be the one. Oh, yep, there it is. Sure enough. This may not be the only one that's behind a waterfall. It's a very logical place to hide one. So, there you go. Um, not something I really would have thought to do otherwise. I should have... I mean, it really makes sense because that seems to be a... A very tempting place to hide things in video games it's behind waterfalls. So I don't know why I would say I wouldn't think of that. But, I mean, I gotta be honest, I, I just wouldn't think of that personally. But that's just me. Alright, finally we get to do another puzzle shrine. The last, like, two or three of them have been, uh, blessings. Where I didn't have to do anything. Okay, so we have a giant switch in the middle. Um, boy, I don't even remember if I've ever done this one. You know, again, like I said, going into this, I only remember one shrine be being behind a waterfall, but that doesn't mean there's not more than one shrine behind a waterfall. This may not be the same one I was thinking of. I'm just gonna assume that there's a big block underneath the water, but I don't know, that might be too easy. You have a treasure chest, so that's nice. Oh, I see a metal block right there, so I have to open that gate to get that metal box out. Now, is there a way to maybe lift this thing up above the gate? No. I see a chest up there. I guess a bomb arrow would be fine. Is that, does that do anything to that? No, I, I I was curious, maybe it would light a fire. That's what we really want to do though. Light a fire, and that would bring that chest down. Or not. Really. Hmm. Okay, well we have an elevator type of thing here, so I'll ride that up. Get another chest right here, so this seems to be full of treasure already. There's at least three treasures I know about, two that I've gotten. Just one more on top of that wooden platform. Um, this doesn't seem to go anywhere here. The end is right up top. So there's got to be something I can do. I, I feel like that wooden platform is the next step of this puzzle. I really do. I just gotta find out a way to knock it down. I mean, I guess shooting the rope supporting it might not be a bad idea. Let me just go to normal arrows and try doing that. I've never really found that to be a solution in this game. Wind Waker, I remember, liked to do that. This doesn't seem like it's doing anything. Oh, well, sure enough it was. Okay. So that did do something, only the question is, I don't think it did anything more important than just getting that treasure chest down. I could, you know what I could do? It very well could be the reason why there are 
three treasure chests so easy to get. These might be what I put on the Switch. That's a nice sword. I've never seen a Zoro sword yet. Yeah, let's just try that. I doubt it. I mean, it seems logical that it's the metal box that you want to put on there. Maybe it's a red herring, but I'm just going to go ahead and try it. Oh, two were almost enough. So this, yeah, I think that has to be it. Yeah, I'll wait for this stupid thing to come back down. Yeah, I'm very interested now. Like, what the metal box is for. Maybe it's just a trick to think, like, oh, well, no. <laughs> to make you think that that's the solution to the puzzle. I guess I guess that's kind of what they're going for. It should make you think, well, how do I open this gate to get the box out? Because clearly that's how I pulled the switch down. But it's kind of a nice way to uh, subvert your expectations. Something that the new Star Wars movie does quite a bit. <coughs> uh, anyway. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty clever how they, how they did that. Um, I Now I have to figure out a way to get on top of the box, which is... Pretty simple. I just want to jump on top of it here, and then this should be high enough to get up here. And that's that. Is there anything more I can do? I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, that was a pretty neat puzzle. Yeah, I don't think I've done that before. It doesn't seem familiar to me. There's no puzzle solving shrine, or <laughs> no puzzle solving sh chime. You know, the classic one that we all know from the Zelda games. Usually you get that when you get to the end of a shrine, but this one didn't do that for whatever reason. Oh, I'm just relieved to have a shrine done. It feels like it's been so long. Okay. Now the bad news about coming down to the shrine is now I have to find my way out and maybe back up where I jumped down. Um, I have some stuff to beat up on. Doesn't look like it's anything too special. Just some regular ore, flint, and r rock salt. I guess obol's not too bad. No, don't get too discouraged. This just looks like luminous stones, I think. Yeah. You can kind of tell in the daytime when it's a luminous stone. Um, or because it looks a lot smoother. It's tough to describe. I mean, obviously, in nighttime, it glows blue. When it has luminous stone in it. Ooh, that's not good. That is really not good. There is no way back up for me, is there? This is going to create quite a challenge getting out of here. Because this is a straight up wall. Oh, uh, boy. Gosh, I don't know what else to do. I may be. I should have swam over there. I'm just going to try to climb. Okay, well, that wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad at all. Ooh, this might have been another way in right here. And thus, a way out. Sure enough, I could have just gone this way. That's kind of funny. Um, well, it would have been it more believable way to discover the shrine, you know, you would think that it'd be enough just to think to check behind the waterfall, like the game just expects you to do that, but no, there's a cave that leads to it, so that's, I guess that's really more how they meant to do it, but as I went further down with the thing sh chiming, I thought, well, it must be behind the waterfall, so, um, whatever, that was my thinking. And it worked out. Didn't waste too much time trying to find that. I thought I'd be looking a lot more. Boy, where am I? I see some enemies down below. I can just I guess I can keep going up. But I kinda wanna check that out over there. What direction is that pointing? Pretty much the direction I wanna go in. Let's just do that. If I have to climb up some more stuff, I'd, I'd, I'll i deal with it. So, but this is kind of more beneficial to me, taking me in the right direction. That platform down there looks very interesting. 
I'll go ahead and fight you. Really? What what kind of Liz Alpha was that? To take out to take it out in one shot. Very, very strange. I gotta see what this platform is, so I can't help it. The curiosity's killing me big time. This this could be a very this could be like a shrine right here. Yeah, these are green Lithalphos. These are the weakest one in the whole game. Oh, this should just be a Korok. Boring. Well, at least... I don't know. I mean, I, I'm okay with that. I just feel like there could have been more significance there. Maybe I'm just getting greedy. Oh, I guess... Yeah, I'll just go across here. There's some platforms to jump on if I fear any kind of running out of stamina, which I don't know why I would be afraid of that with this kind of distance. Raft right there that I could use. But I'm just gonna go on foot and kind of climb up this way. I mean, this is a very neat looking section with more of a kind of a old ancient feeling to it. Don't blow that. Oh, damn. Now everyone knows about me. There's probably gonna be some silver ones coming after me. Yep. It's straight. Oh, wow. It's strange that this part. Um, seems to have a lot more weaker... And, okay, come on. Right as I say that, I'm getting myself beat up. But yeah, the stretch, you know, it's having green... has, like, a green Lithophos in it that are really easy to kill, and then it has, uh, red Bobblekins. Or Bacob Bobblekins. That was, like, the faulty way that I used to refer to them was Bobblekins. I am gonna go with that, I guess. Ooh. Here, let me get a spear. I just, I can't use a heavy weapon against a spear. I was trying to. I was too lazy to switch my weapon up. And I'm just about out making a damn fool of myself. Come on. You can do it. Here, just don't mess with any of that stuff. Can't really dodge a move like that. So you just gotta let them finish it out. But when he tries to stab at you, you should be able to per pull off a dodge on him. They don't, you know, they don't attack rapidly. Ooh, that works, I guess. I do want his gems, so I will jump down there. Are they going to sink to the bottom? I think they totally did. I don't know if you saw that, but I saw it, and I saw the ruby, or sapphire, whichever one it was, sink down to the bottom. That's stupid. So if you kill... Silver Bacoblin, make sure he doesn't fall in the water, because then you'll be shit out, out of luck at, from getting his, um, from getting his gems. That's so cool, it takes him out in one shot. What am I using? I'm gonna try to save that and go with some, maybe them Dragon Bone Clubs, because these are pretty expendable, but still dependable. Where was that from? Expendable, but dependable. Is that from something? Maybe slightly re reworded it would be something that I'm quoting there. Expendable but dependable. Maybe dependable but expendable. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look that up. Because <laughs> now I'm very interested for some reason in some random accidental reference I might be making. I mean, it's it makes sense because it's such a perfect rhyme. And they kind of... Those two words contradict each other. Come on! Climb! Uh, I guess from here I'm just climbing. I don't really want to, though. It's so... Ugh. I see a pathway going upward, so I might just go with that instead of a slow-ass climb to the top. Where am I at right now? Yeah, I'm going to jump across here and just go up the pathway. So I might have done a little bit of backtracking there, but that's okay. Might be some more enemies along the way to fight, so something to keep me busy along the way. Maybe. I think this is where you found one of the lost memories, and now I'm starting to wonder if I've already done that one. I think I have. There's a lost memory here. Let me go here and check that out. Which one was that? Um. 
It's this one right here, and I've already gotten it, and that's indicated by the film icon on it. Um, it shows that I've already found that memory. That's a waste of an arrow. Here we go. We get some stronger enemies in here. Black Moblin. There we go. Good dodge. Alright, cool. T took him out pretty easily, too. I am okay with that. I mean, now it's really just the silver enemies that are going to give me really any problems. I mean, I'm not going to say the black ones aren't going to give me problems from time to time. I'm not trying to be cocky either. Because earlier I made a bit of a fool of myself against that silver bacoblin. But... I'm just saying, I'm taking out the black ones a lot quicker than I used to. It's really more just a testament to the strength that I've built up from, you know, whatever. That's a linnel. Do I want to buy a linnel? Well, since I'm being cocky, why not punish myself by fighting a linnel? Is that a black-maned one or a blue-maned one? Well, it looks like we're fighting, so... Indy shooting triple ice arrows at me and gonna make a damn fool of me, isn't he? I really should heal, but I'm not going to. I somehow didn't get hit by that. Why I'm using... Just... Oh, jeez. That's gonna break right in the middle of this switch. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get to pull off the flurry rush. No, it canceled out with the break. Here, you should really eat something. Eat something. I know I have fairies, so I don't want to use them. Um, something small is fine. Okay, we're doing this, I guess. What? Oh, I hit the button. I did. Give me another chance at it? No. I'm just gonna make a damn fool of myself. This is a red maned one, I think. I can't. I'm starting to have trouble telling the difference. Oh, this is depressing. It's a horrible start to this fight. There you go. Much better. Much better. Am I using the Master Sword? I can't really tell. I don't think it matters too much. Oop. Get back. He's not doing anything too fancy with his attacks. He's not blowing any fire or anything like that. That worked out well. Yeah, if, if you keep spamming dodges, I mean, does, does that rapid attack, you'll eventually get one. I just find it funny how the thing that I got my ass kicked by was like the easiest thing to dodge, which is that headbutt thing that he does. Oh, he does shoot fire. Okay. I was wondering. Okay. I can take Oh, I can take advantage of that fire by getting some air on him. Damn. I'm just making a fool of myself right now. Can I mount him? I know you can mount these. Ooh, damn. Okay, I'm going to eat again. Doing a little bit better, though. Pulling off more dodges and stuff. What are you going to do now? More fire? I wonder if that's because he's half health. Because, again, I didn't see him do that early on. Come on, don't... It's because I'm unlocking myself. Ooh, shit. Yeah, now I'm just making a fool of myself again. So... Right when I thought I was doing well, I start... Oh, I'm trying to mount him! And there goes my fairy. Okay, it's E2. This is just turning out to be a big embarrassment. I'll eat all this roasted fish that I have. I should take advantage of this fire and jump up into the air. Oh, it didn't create anything right there. Come on. Here, he's gonna do the headbutt thing. That's the easy one to dodge. That's a good thing. That's a good one to try to take advantage of if you can. And of course, I had another weapon break on me right in the middle of the furry rush. Ooh, damn. Shh, there. <laughs> I had to shield all that. I had no weapon. Okay, what am I going to use this time? Zora Sword? That's the one I just picked up from the shrine that I was kind of excited about. Well, this is my chance to use it. More fire. He's getting close to dead. Ugh. I'm too far away to do a flurry. You can't just dodge when he's that far away and expect a flurry rush from it. 
This should finish him off. No? Damn. No, now I'm starting to get cocky. Just a little bit cocky. Oof. He was close to me on that one. That's why I wasn't... Okay, that's fine. I probably want to eat something else. I don't want to use up two fairies in this thing. I don't know why I'm using that stuff. I might as well finish that off, and... I'm going to take a risk and not eat any more of that food. I'll eat a little more of this. I'd like to finish this off without eating any more food. That should be the last bit of food that I eat. Unfortunately, I was stupid. <laughs> Here, jump up. And... Oh, shit, he's going to try to shoot me. Get a headshot. Get another one. Just keep firing off. Oh, that killed him. Okay, that last headshot killed him. Okay. That just adds ups and downs. I had some really dumb moves. But overall, not too bad. But I think that was just a the lowest level one. A red-maned one. I'll drop a bow. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter. This is the weakest one I got. Uh, really the one I was using. Because it's, I'm sure it's getting weakened now. Oh well, that was a nice diversion of action. So I'm okay with that. And I really should have switched over <laughs> to something with better defense. Not that I'm making excuses, but I wasn't wearing my best armor against that guy. So I might have took taken less damage a little bit. If I was just wearing my Hylian armor, oh well. No big deal. So where am I heading now? I don't want to go in the wrong direction, which I am if I follow the path. So I really want to turn around, do a full 360, or 180, sorry, and go this way. Be doing a little bit of climbing, but that's alright. It's not rough, straight up climbing. It's climbing that I am more... Um... What am I... What was I trying to say? Or less intimidated by. I was going to say more intimidated by, but less intimidated by. Because you don't just have to sit there and watch me climb for <laughs> way too long. And really, I'm not having to do any climbing at this point. I want to get up nice and high, though, so I can make a nice leap into the air with my parasail and cover some ground so it's not a bad idea to get up as high as I can and what direction do I want to go in now oh, well, should be that direction that's a nice view from here it makes me want to get up even higher kind of see where else I can go see if there's any shrines you know you never know I say that term quite a bit in this playthrough, but it is a very um, relevant term to this game. That's so that's a nice shot right there, that goat at the very top of the mountain with the sunset. Too bad I'm going to kill him, or at least try to kill him. Nope, I won't. I want to kill him. Come on. There you go. <laughs> I just wanted to kill it because I was talking about how elegant it looked up on top of the mountain with the sunset. It's just a nice view. That's why I'm not really in a rush to jump off this right away. So we'll take a good look at everything around here. I'm just taking in the sunset. Don't mind me. I'm trying to slow down and take in the spectacle of the game. I know I'm heading the wrong direction. But I just want to see. And you never know what I'll see here. I might locate something very I, I mean this these mounds up here look like something I can check out let me see where that is on the map or try to guess where that is where am I that is I don't know what that is I have no idea what that is I'm put a mark right there I'm serious I want to check that out sometime Yeah, here we go. That's a better idea. P. 
here, Plateau. Banuro Stand. Oh, the, these are both named after the Scarecrows from Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, uh, respectively. It's right by Kakariko. That's cool, but I'll check that out another time. This is really where I want to head. I recognize this uh, gate slash bridge over here, so that is where I want to go. So I am going to make a leap. Actually, I might even try something fun. I haven't done this in a while, so I'm going to do this, and then I'll leap when it feels necessary. Uh, that wasn't very exciting. I thought I had, I'd have a little more momentum going that way. Oh, well. I just wanted to do it because I haven't done it in a while. So we're just going to leap and enjoy the view from here, get as far as I can. And I'm head towards that bridge slash gate. I don't even know what that is, a bridge or a gate. But that is right next to uh, Zord's Domain. So I'm going in the direction that I want to be going. I'm just going to float ahead. I'll kind of look around. There's a lot of little islands and stuff right on the eastern edge of the map. It's really the only place where you see anything like on the shores, kind of outside of the big hunk of Hyrule. Like I'll, I'll show you really quickly. Like right here, there's some islands here, and there's that peninsula, and there's more stuff should be down below in the north. Like right here, there's a little island here. So I'm just showing you the eastern side of the map. When it comes to islands and stuff like that, you mostly will find that on the eastern side of the map. Uh, what's down below? Oh, it's just an electric keys stood out. Looks like there's some ruins down here. I'm running out of stamina. Can I land? I'll just land right here. Okay. Oh, hello. Are you going to do anything to me? I guess it's because you're so fast, I might as well fight you. Otherwise, you're going to follow me everywhere I go. Why are you still alive? Get away from me. Oh, do you not want to shock myself with you? That's the tricky thing about the selector keys, man. When you tag him with a metal weapon, you'll shoot yourself in the foot. That's why they're definitely the toughest ones. Can I get rid of this group? Thank you. dash away from here. Might have to get a good look at my map to see where I'm at, actually. Um, I guess I'll head towards the uh, the Ratula Dam, which should be that that uh, bridge I was looking at, which turns out to be a dam. Ooh, we have a cave down here. This might be an easier path in there. I was going to climb, but maybe this could be an alternate way. Let's get some wooden weapons to fight the keys with. Oh, hello, boulders. This might be a fun thing to explore. It looks like we have a Korok here. Where did that other flower pop up at? Um, don't attack me where I'm climbing! Of course. Of course you did. Oh, this is not, this is really embarrassing. Okay, this trap also. Let's get rid of my metal shield. I have all metal shields. Oh, well, that's not good. Okay, I, I can't. I just got killed by keys. I just got killed by keys. I am getting my ass handed to me by keys. This is unbelievable. That is un. I. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. I'll see you next time on Breath of the Wild. I I, I just I. I have to regather my thoughts.